TTC subway operator Kevin Pett pulled into the eastbound Hyde Park station on October 3 as he would any other day. But this day, he saw a man jump from the platform and then lay down on the tracks. There was no way the 12-year veteran of the TTC could stop the train in time to avoid killing Jarvis Collegiate teacher David DeWeese. And since then, Pet has been in counseling, trying to deal with the trauma. I just feel a little, a little shaky, but I think I'll be worse once they get to High Park Station and like, you know, drive back into the same, same station that he jumped. I think it's going to be harder. We're going to High Park, High Park Station. On November 10, Pet and his wife Shelley took the first ride back to normalcy. They rode in the front car of an eastbound train back into High Park. I mean, it's hard because no one knows how they're going to react. And you lose your control, and I think that's the hardest thing that you have to get back is to get your control. Deweese was charged October 1 with internet luring and invitation to sexual touching involving two children under 16. The next day, the 32-year-old teacher was granted $25,000 bail. And on the third day, he killed himself. Whether he be guilty or innocent, what he did to my family was horrific, and I will never forgive him for it. Um, he's changed my husband in ways that no one will ever know. It's a day he and his wife Shelley say they'll never forget. Shelley said her normally jovial husband has changed. Pat is now working to get back into the operator's chair. He says it's just a matter of time before he's driving a train eastbound back into High Park Station. For Sun Media, I'm Rob Lamberti.